but the other one is on the back side of the units here. And if you read anything online, uh, this is probably the most common talked about thing. Down here in the bottom of this G4AR, these uh, gold plated um, connectors that I added on just 90 degree connectors, these are external antenna uh, ports so you can add easily an external antenna. Um, I can add something like the waveform quad mini right here uh, very easily jump simply by screwing these um, connectors into here and then you can switch the settings in here to go to an external antenna. They also have a quad pro and other antennas that really do help me get faster speed. I have videos on you know the performance difference I get with adding an antenna um, but the big downside to the G5 AR doesn't have them. Um, otherwise it has basically the same layout. It has two uh, Ethernet ports, two LAN ports on there. It has a USB which is the power port. It has another USB that's not really used. I think it's for flashing the unit. It's got a reset button and then it does have a physical SIM card. That is at least a big saving grace. Um, T-Mobile so far, fingers crossed, has kept up with using a physical SIM card um, and that allows you to take the SIM card out and put it somewhere else if you really want to. So I have other uh, gateways, many other gateways that I have been using. Uh, this one here is one of the uh, gateways from Chester Tech Repairs. I really like uh, his stuff that he uh, provides a lot of support for it. And I'm able to literally take that SIM card out, uh, put it in the back of this unit. And then I'm able to uh, do all kind of advanced features like band locking, uh, tower locking, I can switch um, from 5G to LTE and other settings there. Um, so that is um, still at least a savings grace that it has a, a physical SIM, whereas AT&T and Verizon ones typically do not.